And I think when you see the movie, it's pretty clear why. The pace is really quick. Um, it's definitely got comedic elements, action elements, some romantic elements. Um, but on set, I mean, it was just a real blast to make this movie and to be surrounded with such incredible talent every day. So, um, yeah, it was amazing. How excited are you for audience to finally be able to see Free Guy and on a big screen in theaters, no less? Why is that so important with this film? How excited am I to have people see it? Very excited. I, uh, I mean, it was supposed to come out, it feels like it's supposed to come out uh, I, I guess a year ago with four different release dates, so it feels like uh, a long time coming. Um, and especially in theaters, which I think is so important. Um, one of the reasons that they really were insistent on that is just because this is a movie that is so amazing to see with a group of people, like a large audience. Um, I mean, visuals alone, all the special effects, I think that that's reason to go see it. but. There are comedic moments, um, there are sort of dramatic moments that happen throughout the film that, um, yeah, lend themselves to be with a big group of people. I think it's a, it, uh, it brings people together. Without giving too much away, your character has a great arc in the film. As an actor, is that something you look for in a role? Um, yeah, my character Keys in the film does have a really great arc in the movie. I really enjoyed how, where we sort of pick pick up with him. Um, he's kind of at a very low point in his life and kind of the backstory leading up is uh, one of anticipation. He creates this game with his best friend, sells the content, and then kind of it gets shelved um, and his dream kind of crumbles and then he ends up working at this company. So. Uh, I really enjoy that we pick him up at a low point and then kind of, you know, the story kind of elevates from there. It's it's rare than you might think to find uh, characters with good arcs and it's always, um, yeah, it's always amazing when you get to play somebody who has, it goes through the, a real transformation throughout the film. Uh, and that was a challenge that was, yeah, I was looking forward to. Right. In the film, many of the characters have avatars within the game itself that are polar opposites of who they are in the real world. What can you tell us about Key's avatar? Sure, yeah. Key, Key's avatar in the game is a police officer. Um, he's not one by nature to break the rules, so he is, in fact, you know, as this coder, he is kind of the enforcer of the game, making sure that you know, no nonsense is going on. So it's kind of, you know, appropriate that he wears this cop outfit. Um, and his little flair is that he just looks kind of like a Reno 911 sort of stripper cop, big mustache, tight uniform, um, which was not very breathable, but was pretty fun. Great, thank In your opinion, what is the most powerful message audiences will take away from the film? Uh, I think... I think the message that I take away from the film is that even when you're in a world that is um, unstable and crazy and unpredictable, you still have the choice and uh, to make the right decision and to be a good person and to consider other people. Um, and I, I, I love that message of the film um, and that it just happens to be tied up with all these amazing action and comedic elements. Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you. Thank you for the questions.